and I hope you're welcome to this winter solstice 2020. I'm going to be guiding you through a yoga nidra practice of around 20 minutes or so. Uh, there's going to be some imagery of woodland and forest and moon and sun. Know that you can move as you need to to attend to your comfort. It's a great and generous act of compassion and kindness towards yourself to tend to yourself in this way. You can let your eyes be open or closed as you wish. And you can use my voice as your guide and companion through the practice or you can leave my voice behind and take your attention wherever you would like when you would like. So settle into a really comfortable, warm, smuggly, lovely place to be. Maybe in your bed, on the earth, maybe on the couch. Having all of the body supported as it needs to be and that you are warm and cosy. And before we come to the a formal practice, I just wanted to read you something from a very beautiful book by Sharon Blackie, which talks about the darkness. And as we move towards the shortest day, the great darkness, we are reminded of the natural cycles of nature that are carried within the wisdom of the body, within the wisdom of the breath itself within the need for sleep and rest, the hibernation, within the menstrual cycle, so many natural rhythm, rhythms of nature reflected within the wisdom of the body itself. And as we journey through this nidra together and we consider moving from darkness to light, I found it very interesting to consider my relationship to darkness and this sense of arising uh, fear I had about the idea of darkness. And I've been challenging that within myself to, to be with it, to welcome it, to feel into its texture, if you will. And there'll be invitations to do that in the practice that we take. But just to read to you a little excerpt from Sharon Blackie. Stay with the long dark. It takes as long as it takes. We cannot shortcut our time in the dark, but so often we try to, because we are born into a culture which has prepared us poorly for waiting. We want to medicate our way out of the dark, to drink or drug our way out. We want to treat our way out. We're looking for a product, a practice, a technique. We want to know now what it is we might become and we want to become it now. But we won't find our way out by running hell for leather towards the light. We will find it rather by embracing the dark, by exploring the fecund, the lonely ground of our being, our own being and that of the rich, wide world around us. And so with those words, maybe just resonating with you as you take your time just to settle in, settle in and to sense the deep wish of the body to rest, the deep wish of the body to come to its night to come to the winter and to succumb to the natural rhythm of resting, of undoing and of being. Settle in, nestle in, knowing that you are so very welcome in this space. I am so glad to be virtually holding this space for you to practice. Even though I may not be present with you in this unfolding moment of practice, that my words may be in some way 
adding to this sense of support for you in this moment. And I believe also the ground, the earth herself is so pleased that you have shown up and laid your body down to take this rightful place reserved always just for you as part of her, an expression of her in the wisdom of the body itself. Take a few easy breaths when you're ready. And I invite you to imagine that the breath out is your guide into the winter of the body, into the dark winter time of the body as we travel through the breath out into the rich landscape of rest, waiting to envelop us. And that the whole body can soften and yawn and settle into the winter of the body, into the night, into the rest. Feeling that breath out as your companion and your guide to carry your body into the warm arms of the earth. And feeling yourself settled and held and welcomed as an invitation to guide the warm light of your attention into the very center of you, wherever you imagine that to be. And in this place, come to find your way to the field of awareness that is your well being. Find words that describe your sense of well-being. Let these words maybe bring images, memories or imaginations of times, maybe places where you have felt this well-being. And then let this sense of well-being come alive inside you now, richly and deeply as you bring it into this moment, the lived sense of well-being of that place. And in amongst this field of awareness that is so effortless to you, so simple and so familiar, not something that is taught, but something that remembers us in this field of awareness, you can, if you would like, merge in the intention of release, surrender. Again, using images or words or any other invocations of release and surrender. And then we capture that. We capture that sense of release by way of a light, either of the moon or the sun. And come to imagine that light shining down on the body, gifting this sense of release as we journey through the landscape of the body and offer up this intention of release to the body herself. You may like to imagine the body as a great forest, nurtured by the earth and the coolness beneath nurtured by the sun and the warmth from above. Your body, the great landscape of the earth herself. Bringing this gift of release to the crown of the hand, to the eyebrow center, to the base of the neck, over and inside the right shoulder, the right elbow now, the right wrist palm of the hand and the back of the hand and into the very tip of the right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger and little finger, palm of the hand and back of the hand. So the whole hand now may feel this deep sense of release and surrender, guiding the light through the forest of the body to the right wrist, elbow, shoulder, 
base of the throat, over and inside the left shoulder, down to the left elbow and wrist, palm of the hand and the back of the hand, and to the very tip of the left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger and little finger. So the whole of the left hand now may know this sense of a deep release and surrender. Guiding the light through the forest of the body, back to the left wrist, elbow, shoulder, and base of the throat. Light shining through all the spaces of the chest, all the spaces of the belly in all the spaces of the pelvis. Moving over and inside the right hip, down to the right knee, the right ankle, into the sole of the foot, and the top of the foot, and into the very tip of the right big toe. First toe, second toe, third toe, and little toe. So the whole of the right foot is invited to no release and surrender. The guiding light traveling back to the right ankle, knee and hip. Through all the spaces of the pelvis over and inside the left hip, down to the left knee, ankle, sole of the foot and the top of the foot, and then into the very tip of the left big toe, first toe, second toe, third toe, and little toe. So the whole of the left foot may know how it is to feel surrender and release. Guiding light back to the left ankle, knee, hip, and through the spaces of the pelvis, through the spaces of the belly, through the spaces of the chest, into the base of the throat, the eyebrow centre, and into the very crown of the head. Imagining now this guiding light shining down across the great forest of the body, as the whole body, the whole body is welcome to release and surrender. And imagining now, imagining now a sense of darkness, just the right thickness, just the right shade enveloping the forest of the body, like a calling to rest, feeling it moving in richly through the body, sweeping through the forest, landing, supporting, living in all the spaces And in this rich darkness, travel the light of your attention into the palm of your left hand and come to see the moon, the right shape, size, just the right cool, dull light. See the moon in the left hand and trace the light of the moon and this sense of coolness all the way up the left arm into the left nostril and to the eyebrow center. And journey from the eyebrow center with the awareness through the right nostril, down the right arm and into the right hand, where you come to see the dawn sun, the morning light, in just the right shape, in just the right warmth. And sense and feel the dawn light in the palm of the right hand. 
sense the quality all the way through the right side of the body, of the dawn light. And then journey your awareness from the palm of the right hand and the dawn sun up the right arm, the right nostril to the eyebrow center. And as you travel down through the left nostril, left arm and into the moon in the left hand, feeling the whole of the left side of the body, this cool, dull night. Journey from the moon to the eyebrow center and then to the sun in the right hand at your own pace. And journey from the sun in the right hand to the eyebrow center, and then back to the moon in the left hand at your own pace. Continue to journey from night to morning light, from hand to eyebrow center, and eyebrow center to hand. And take time to feel into the qualities of the light of the moon and the sun and the temperatures that they bring as you journey from one side of the great forest of the body to the other. And then when you feel ready, and if you would like, imagine the breath now moving from both hands through both nostrils to the eyebrow center, and from the eyebrow center back through both nostrils to both hands. And welcome in the temperature and the light of the sun and the moon at the same time as you breathe evenly. How might it be to hold these different qualities together at the same time, the moon and the sun. How would that be? And then when you're ready, give up all effort of attention. And sense the body itself, the wholeness of you, resting back into pure awareness. Into the soft spaces between. Between all arising sensations within the field of awareness that is your body. And then let the breath out guide you back into the very center of you. Imagining, if you would like, that you are in the center of the forest. And there is just the right amount of darkness around you, moving in to touch and hold the skin. And there is just enough moonlight to see the path in front of you. And that you slowly and carefully, feeling safe and happy to, begin to move slowly along the path. seeing just the very edges, just enough to see your way through, feeling that every step you take moves you from the thickness of the darkness toward the breaking morning light. And as you travel on this path, you see ahead of you a clearing. And you pause for a moment pausing for a moment within the darkness of the forest. And in this space, if you would like, you could bring to mind something you wish to surrender or release. 
something that no longer maybe is of service of you, or that limits you in some way. Maybe it comes to you as a thought or an image or a question mark. Something to surrender to or to release. And when you feel ready, feeling the firm support of the ground beneath you here and now, you can walk out of the darkness of the forest into the emerging clearing and the morning sunrise. Stepping in your own time fully into the clearing to be totally enveloped by the morning sun. Feeling the warmth and light of the morning sun meeting the wholeness of the body. And pause here for a moment, feeling the earth beneath you, supporting you, part of you, as you breathe. And although you have stepped into the sunlight, knowing that that night, that rich darkness is still with you within the breath cycle itself, within the breath out. And as you breathe out, let it carry you back now into this deep sense of rest and back into the very center of you. And sensing into this space, reconnecting back into your sense of well-being through those words and images and the felt sense of the body that help your feeling of well-being to come alive to you now in this moment, richly and deeply. Knowing that you can return to this feeling of well-being whenever you would like through your attention and to your breath, whether you're standing in the light or the darkness, at any time. And then imagining now as you travel out of this practice of Nidra that that beautiful morning light grows richer and stronger into a more midday sun, bright and welcoming, bringing you back slowly and readily with just enough energy to see you out into the rest of the day. Let that light as rich and as warm as you want it to be roll its way across the forest of the body all the way from the tips of the toes to the crown of the head, bringing you back safely and into a more everyday state of being as you land fully present back into this amazing body of yours, supported and welcomed on the earth. Breathe a little richer, a little rounder, a little fuller and take maybe just the right amount of movement or stretch as you emerge out of the darkness, into the light, into the day, into whatever needs to happen for you. Stretching and wriggling, yawning, opening and closing the eyes. Maybe wrapping the arms around the body, give yourself a little squeeze, a little hug, a little rock, wrap the hands together. Maybe wipe any sense of tiredness away from the eyes and the face. And then maybe bringing the hands together in front of the heart. This practice of yoga nidra has come to an end. Thank you for joining me and happy solstice. Be well, take care. Bye now.